ART advantages. Number one, convenience. La Paz ART system has free Wi-Fi. With its cell phone app, you can get any information you want pertaining to the ART. Its ticketing and gate system is fully automated. Flat rate per ride to any destination is about 21 pesos. Number two, comfort and ample space. ART is very spacious. In La Paz, standing is not allowed. In Hong Kong, with a slightly bigger gondola, standing is allowed. This increases its capacity but proportionately increases its installation cost. Handlebars are provided for standing passengers. Wheelchairs and bicycles can easily fit in. In contrast, in most BRTs and rail-based mass transportation systems, standing is allowed. It can be very uncomfortable during peak hours. Number three, safest mode of mass transportation. Records will show that the ART is the safest mode of mass transportation compared to others. Number four, systematic connectivity. These vehicles can easily drop off or pick up passengers at the spacious drop off and pick up facilities in the ART stations. These facilities are not usually found in BRT and rail type transportation systems. An example are these two stations shown along LRT-1. This is because most of these LRT stations have to be built along an existing traffic-prone road with already so many expensive buildings on both sides. Without these spacious drop-off and pick-up facilities, connections are less orderly and less convenient. We zoom in on this satellite photo to get more details on its typical ground conditions. These are the Google Street views of the same two stations and aerial photos of the stations. Drop-offs and pickups by say buses or jeepneys are less efficient here. There are no pocket lanes for drop-off and pick-up passengers. The area is traffic prone and crowded. Making wide open spaces for these facilities will require the destruction of very expensive buildings and acquisition of expensive real estate. In ART, the location of the station can be offset where land is cheaper and where there are lesser number of buildings that needs to be removed. As an example, we can put the Pedro Hill and Quirino stations here, away from the crowded Taft Avenue. As an example, we use the aerial photos of two La Paz red line stations overlain as sample layouts of the stations. Note the wide drop off and pick up facilities of the stations that can be built at a much lesser cost. Connecting the stations will not be a problem since the ART cables can pass over buildings. Towers between stations require only three square meters of right of way space. Number five, punctual. ART rarely breaks down. It is almost never late. There is no need to stop. It only needs to slow down for loading and unloading. The gondolas move continuously at the same speed during the entire day of operation. The riders waiting in line continuously move like ants because passengers get to ride the gondola every nine to 12 seconds. Departures and arrival times are more predictable, whereas in BRT and rail-based systems, the lines move in spurts to match the 3 to 10 minute intervals of train arrivals and departures. Number 6. No noise. The travel is completely silent. There are no sources of surrounding noise up in the sky. There are no noisy engines, motors, or moving parts in the gondola. They are instead located in the stations where a minor hissing noise can be heard. The gondola simply clamp to the cable and travels along the cable together. In contrast, rail-based transportation systems have numerous moving parts. There are many external sources of surrounding noise at ground level. The motors or engines and numerous moving parts are below the coaches. The wheels grind with the rails, making noise throughout the entire trip. Number seven, no vibration or swaying movements. 
there are no vibrations or swaying movements inside the gondola as it travels. The speed of the cable travel is constant at all times. The travel is in a straight direction between stations. In BRT or rail-based transport, the coaches travel along a road or rail at changing speeds, slopes, and curvatures. These cause the coaches to sway especially at high speeds. These are minor movements, but when you are standing, it can keep you slightly off balance. This is the reason BRT and rail-based transport are equipped with handlebars and hanging hand grips. Most BRT and rail-based mass transportation allow standing passengers to maximize capacity. This is one major reason the slope of travel is limited to 7 degrees. When the rail is level, a standing passenger is stable and comfortable. But if the coach travels at a slope greater than 7 degrees, at a speed of up to 80 kph, the shaking can be uncomfortable and unsafe for the standing passenger. In contrast, ART traveling at constant speed is always level and stable. This is made possible by a hinge located here. ART can travel at an angle of up to 53 degrees. This is the quietest and smoothest transportation system ever invented by man. This is a short video of the noise and shake characteristics of ART and BRT or rail-based systems. Number 8. No air pollution. ART is fully electric and emits no harmful gases. It travels way above the ground where the air is much cleaner. Number 9. Easy and cheaper maintenance. ART is very easy to maintain compared to LRT. The La Paz ART Phase 1 only needs 51 maintenance workers, all Bolivians. In contrast, LRT3 needs more maintenance being a more complicated system as shown in this table. Since LRT3 operated 19 years ago, it has already had five local and foreign partnership companies that maintained the system. It currently requires 450 workers and foreign expertise to maintain the system. To make an apple-to-apple -apple comparison, we have this table. We know the length and number of workers of both systems. We can determine the number of workers per kilometer. LRT3 needs 26 workers per kilometer. ART needs only 5. This is a ratio of 5 to 1. ART is cheaper to maintain because there are much fewer parts. The technology to run the system is also much simpler. Number 10. Negligible downtime. The La Paz ART has a cumulative average of only 2.5 days per year of no operation. This is mainly caused during very bad weather conditions. The danger of the cable breaking during windy weather is not a factor to stop operations. It will be the discomfort of the passenger during windy weather. The cables can withstand forces four times greater than the maximum load. This is a factor of safety of 4. While the Manila LRT is not affected by wind and lightning, it has much more downtime than the La Paz ART. It may be hard to believe that ART can operate in bad weather considering what would appear to be a fragile clamp and thin cable that carries the gondola. At moderately bad weather conditions, it can still operate.
a YouTube video of ART operating in moderately bad weather can be seen by typing in the search field as follows. La Paz cable car in bad weather. The ART works just fine as shown in the video. ART can operate between 70 to 110 kph. This falls within Typhoon Signal Number 2, where elementary and high school classes are already suspended. Aside from relying on Weather Bureau data, many of the towers of ART have devices to measure wind speed and direction. If the gondola experiences movement beyond a certain comfort level, the system can easily be emptied in less than 15 minutes. This is unlike planes and ships where bad weather is met. It could take hours of tolerating the tension and discomfort of air turbulence or wavy seas until arrival at your destination. Even if ART can operate at wind speeds of 70 to 110 kph, it may not be comfortable. Anyway, at these wind speeds, elementary and high school classes are suspended. All sea travel and most work are suspended as well. Few people will go out and ridership will be low. The few who would still choose to travel can easily be handled by buses, jeepneys, taxis, or LRTs. Number 11, the second cheapest mode of mass transportation, next only to BRT. This chart shows the capacities and the most common modes of mass transportation. This table shows the costing of six different types of mass transportation. The estimate of ART is based on the La Paz ART. The prices of the six systems have been adjusted to present or 2018 prices. Monorails, AGTs, and aerial cable cars are lumped together because they have similar capacities. In this page, we focus on the two cheapest means of mass transportation, namely BRT and ART. BRT, such as in Cebu, is about 20% cheaper than the La Paz ART. In most cases, BRT is cheaper and has a higher capacity than ART but it has higher maintenance and operational costs than ART. All transportation systems have its own strengths and weaknesses. A detailed transportation study can determine which is the best system or combination of systems for a certain city. One of the reasons the Cebu BRT is cheaper is because it has smaller stations than the ones at La Paz ART. The La Paz stations have huge interior and commercial spaces. They have huge drop-off and pick-up facilities for cars, buses, and other public utility vehicles. They can be made smaller to lower the costs, such as these two sample stations in Turkey and the Netherlands. The size of the ART station is now almost equal to the size of the BRT station. In such a case, ART will only be slightly more expensive than BRT. ART station size can be the choice of the owner. Aside from passenger comfort, La Paz chose to have bigger stations to increase its profitability and avoid subsidy. It has expectedly earned more by having bigger stations. For Baguio, bigger stations may be chosen. Assured profitability attracts private investors that could build an ART system at no cost to the government. Number 12. Lower electrical and operational costs. ART has much lower electricity consumption per passenger transported than all other modes of mass transportation. Its electricity consumption per passenger transported can be compared to that of the consumption of an electric hair dryer. Number 13, fastest construction. ART is the type of mass transportation system that is the fastest to build. The three lines in La Paz were built simultaneously. The line with the longest construction time was the yellow line at one year and five months. For the La Paz ART phase one, construction time was one and a half years. For the Manila LRTs built at different time periods, 
the construction time was about three to four years. Number 14, generation of additional income. Aside from ticket income, it has other sources of income. It is easier to build bigger stations because right of way is easier and cheaper to acquire. Number 15, likely to have no government subsidies. It is likelier than all others to make a profit and thus not need a subsidy from the government. In contrast, the Manila LRTs receive a subsidy of about 10 billion pesos per year. The passenger pays an average of 22 pesos per ride, while the government subsidizes the ride at 30 pesos for a total of 52 pesos per ride per passenger. La Paz charges only 21 pesos without subsidy for a service that is much better. Number 16, inclusive. Having almost the same wealth ranking means that the social stratification of the users in Baguio ART will most likely be the same as that of La Paz. Thus, ART will benefit mostly the lower and middle income groups. The greatest benefit is probably the usage of the high income group comprising of about 6% of the population. They are the people that use private cars, which is the main cause of traffic in Baguio. If most of them will use ART instead, traffic, noise, and air pollution in Baguio will dramatically reduce. Number 17. Popular among riders. Both La Paz ART and Manila LRTs have Facebook pages. The degree of popularity of just about anything can be estimated by the number of Facebook likes. The Manila LRT's Facebook pages have only 11,000 likes, representing less than 1% of Metro Manila's population. The La Paz ART has 357,000 likes or 21% of its population. The Facebook page of La Paz ART has posts, photos, and videos which are much more voluminous than Manila's. This shows that the residents of La Paz are very proud and happy of their ART transportation system. Number 18, a popular tourist attraction. The largest travel advisor app, TripAdvisor, ranks ART as the number one tourist attraction in Metro La Paz. In Metro Manila, the Manila LRT is the number 287th tourist attraction. Number 19, International Recognition. The La Paz ART has been featured in internationally recognized channels, namely Discovery, National Geographic, CNN, and BBC channels for its efficiency, innovations, and achievements. It has won many international awards and recognitions. CNN voted La Paz to be the third best cable car ride in the world. The other nine are mainly for tourism. The La Paz ART is the only one that is used mainly for public transportation. Tourism is just a sideline. We now go into the disadvantages. Number one, low capacity. While higher capacity BRT is cheaper, it is not suited in La Paz. It has narrow main roads. It is also hilly, just like Baguio. LRT is not suited as well. Baguio is not dense enough to justify a high capacity transportation system. If LRT is operated in Baguio, it will likely lose money. It will then need a huge government subsidy. Lower capacity ART is best suited for lower density areas. There is no transportation mode that fits all. LRT and MRT are suited for high-capacity corridors. BRT and ART are suited for lower-capacity corridors. In Caracas, Venezuela, there is a high-capacity corridor of which an MRT or subway is more suited and has been installed. There is a lower-capacity corridor of which a BRT is suited and has been installed. There is a lower capacity corridor located on a hilly area of which ART is suited and has been installed. This page shows the mass transportation map of Caracas. Most of the lines are MRT or subway lines. It can be on the ground, above ground, or below the ground. 
there is a BRT line as shown by this brown line. There are two existing ART lines enclosed in these green shades. There are three ART lines planned or under construction as shown by these enclosed pink shades. The BRT and ART also act as feeders to the MRT. That ART is slower than other mass transport systems is really a good thing. This is because not all routes or roads in a city need a high capacity system. Different mass transportation systems complement each other. An ART station can carry the equivalent of 200 passenger jeepneys per hour in one direction. If a road or a route needs more capacity, it can choose a BRT, LRT, or AGT. If it needs even more capacity, it can choose a subway. Shown here are the expansion plans of Manila's mass transportation network. Despite its extent, many other parts of the metropolis will still not be served by the mass transportation system. This may be because the capacity is low or it is too difficult to build a route because of right-of-way problems. This is where ART comes in. It can be installed anywhere easily. We have shown here three possible ART lines represented by double lines. Another sample expansion plan is that of Metro Cebu as shown on this page. To complement this network, ART may be introduced here as shown in the double lines. If LRT is implemented instead in these ART routes, it may lose money because the passenger demand is lower. This reinforces the argument that ART can be a complementary or secondary mass transportation system. In some cases, like La Paz, Bolivia, where passenger demand is somewhat evenly distributed, it can be the primary and sole mass transportation system. Number two, ugly. To some, it ruins the sky landscape of a city. To most, it is not. It is the number one tourist attraction in La Paz, Bolivia. Manila has eight times the population of La Paz, yet the much smaller La Paz ART has 21 times more Facebook likes than Metro Manila's LRT. Number three, hot inside. During summer, ART will be warmer than Manila's air-conditioned LRT, but the difference will not be much since ART has many ventilation openings on all sides of the gondola. The natural air will also be much fresher than non-aircon vehicles on the ground like jeepneys. More ventilation options. Active ventilation fans can also be fitted inside the gondola. Wind moves in all directions. The side facing the direction of travel will capture the most air. ART can constantly capture fresher and less warmer air at speeds of 18 to 22 kilometers per hour on six sides. In contrast, jeepneys can only capture air on three sides when it travels at an average of 10 kph. When the jeepneys are full of passengers with their backs on the windows and during stops, there is hardly any air going in. If constant cool air is desired inside the gondola, air conditioning can be installed as in the London ART, but it will increase its capital cost and operation and maintenance costs. This presentation is mainly sourced from the success story of Mi Teleferico, the brand name of its ART system. Mi Teleferico in English means my cable car. In the Philippines, it can be called Sky Jeep. If Baguio pursues ART, it could have its own success story, which it can share with other cities in the Philippines.